I have to say, I was not the biggest fan of Armor Core 6's soundtrack. I know, I know. It was a little bit too ambient for me. Now, the grunge was really cool, the intensity was really cool, but I really missed the melody of some of the previous Armored Core soundtrack tracks that I'd listened to. I'm really excited because Armor Core 6 Fires of Rubicon original soundtrack disc 3 is out, and boy, is it a return to form. There are several tracks in this disc 3 that literally call back to original Armored Core pieces. Something like Apex in Circle. This is from the original Armored Core. Check this out. Literally, that dropped 1999, and then the, here it is in 2024. So I like that we still retain the original structure, but now we get that more mechanical, mechy sound quality underneath, which I think elevates it to a whole nother level. Also, just thinking about how far music has come in the realm of video games from 1999 to 2024 is amazing, and I think that the full circle nature of this is extremely cool. Another one is Armored Core Ninebreaker, The Encounter World. About that is this how poppy it is this is like in an armored core game and yet it still has a sound quality of brightness of exuberance even though literally the entire world of armored core is so bleak you still get this wonderful sense of joy but then here you go 2024 the encounter world So good right here. Love that bass guitar in the background. It's so great. Again, there's such a brightness in this music. It's so satisfying. I love the repetitive movement here.
Again, I mean like, God, that's so bright. And also the lyrics are really cool, guys. Can someone self-talk compare to yourself? One more life, it's impossible. Can one self-talk compare to yourself? One life more, it's impossible. When and how, when and how, can pressure feel? And I also love that, can pressure feel? Can pressure feel? Can pressure feel it? Let's just do your thing. It's so simple, and yet the way that it's laid out melodically, it's so satisfying, right? And it gives us such an awesome feeling of like, man, yeah. I can do anything. I don't know, it's really fun. I, I mean, again, this is like subverting expectations of like what we feel Armored Core should be. And I know that sonorally, for those of you that are Armored Core Raven vets, you're like, oh, well, that's been the soundscape for a very long time. I know that there was a period where Yuka Kitamura came in and there was a lot of heavy violins and stuff, but, but it's really exciting to me that we have this dark, bleak game Pretty much all of you know the you know humanity's had to go underground and all this other stuff and the armored cores and the subconscious and the brain melting and all that other stuff and yet it's just so bright and that leads me to armored core 4 answer so this is the original and i love this oh, man. this is such a good track from four answer So that's from 2008, and then here's the 2024 version. I love the electric guitar here. This is frenetic. Love this pulled back thing, and then. It's so great because I, the virility here is just so high. We get this real big sound quality with the electric guitar, with the heavy strings, with the drums. It's all remixes, but they're really just variations on a theme, right? And so even though the originals were very good, now we like raise the stakes due to the sound design, due to the instrumentation, and, and we retain the things that make it so special and made it so special. And that's why it's a return to form in so many different ways, because one of the things that was truly lacking for me from Armored Core Six was this real motif driven melody pushing soundscape and i know that we have a contact with you and i know that we get steel haze rusted pride and stargazer and yet it just didn't feel like it was enough i'm no vet of armored core 6 or armored core in general but i really do think that this soundscape is just so perfectly in line with what we know of with armored core and that leads us into the the pieces that are are remixed in the new armored core 6. i love contact with you as a prime example and the original is just as good but this is slightly better
I love how driven this piece is. This fight with Baltius is really tough. I've never been able to break this boundary for me in the game. But I also love the soprano over tops, Sumika Inoue. And I think what's really interesting there is I do think that it represents that character. I think it's Ire, the character that talks to you when you go down into the pit there before you fight Baltius. And so what I really, really dig about this is that we feel the sense of desperation where I, almost like as a player or an armored core, I have to destroy Baltius in order to protect or in order order to like look after this particular character that looks like she's trying to help us and so there's this really interesting forward propulsion where it's actually quite optimistic because of the way that it's written And then the forward propulsion, it's not heavy, it's not dark, it has a real bright quality to it, which I think makes it so much more meaningful for us. Something I also really liked, it, the Fires of Rubicon, um, <clears throat> the trailer song is so good. And I love the Armored Core 6 sort of motif, the theme here. Check this out, this remix version is wonderful. Oh yeah, the crunch in here is so satisfying. I love that. Da 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 ba da da da. And in this particular version, which you feel in the trailer version as well, there's and, and in the game itself, you feel this incredible sense of like almost like your chest is being compressed. You know what I mean? Like there's a real intensity in that crunch that makes it feel like I can't breathe. And then I think that that oppressive feeling is really the like whole scope of the game itself. And I think that that's why the ambient music does work in Armored Core. Six. There's another section later on here, around two minutes. With the vocals. Oh my god. The drums in the background. Listen to the drum. That's so brutal, but honestly, none has had a better facelift, in my opinion, than Steel Haze. I'm gonna let this one play out and talk about it over top, but it's amazing. So it starts super kind of pulled back, right? A little, it's, it's, it's the vocals, just in that robotic quality. And this muffled thing is so effective at making us feel like we're far away, reflecting on an experience. And also vocally, must it call? First of all, I love that this is Kota Hoshino singing. That lyric, that melody pattern. Da, 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 ro, 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 ro. It's very plaintive hero. It really feels like self-sacrifice. I love that. That's such a cool effect. Sounds like a kazoo almost, but it's really like the humanity's being stripped away, you know? Love that drum pattern here. Listen to the counter melody. Again, melody forward, very melodic. I love the cascading down like that. A little bit of twinge there. I love the slight dip in pitch. 
again, the drums are very present. We got that bass guitar again. Big drum stuff. The melody in the upper register there. So good. Slight dissonance in pitch there. Love the heavy drums again. the way we have harmony with the electric guitar up top too it's so neat and then we bookend with that vocal quality that's pulled back and hushed away while underneath we have this grind not only is it a love letter to that song, but it also highlights the character arc that Rusty probably goes through, assuming that's about Rusty, and the journey that was required of him. And almost like he's like sworn and tied to his duty and responsibility. And so there's a lot of feelings in there of desperation, of pride. And so we really have that forward thrust in there that's just so satisfying. And we never lose that mech quality. And again, that piece, now certainly being one of the better pieces in Armored Core 6 is a original OST, I also feel like that remix really highlights the beauty of melody versus ambient, where there's nothing wrong with ambient music, and, and a lot of the ambient tracks in Armored Core 6 work unbelievably well. However, for me personally, I'm always going to prefer a melodic pattern because of my, my past life with opera. Everything is about melody. Melody is also really important for you as listeners, because melody is the thing that ingrains itself into you. So like 10 years later, or God, 20 years later, when we listen to pieces like Apex and the Circle returning to form in 2024, even though that game, that soundtrack came out in 1998, we're reconnecting with it because of the melodic patterns. But we can't talk about Armored Core 6 soundtrack disc 3 without talking about Takes Me Anywhere. Not only does an entire dev team singing in a track signify the love that they have for the game, but it's also incredibly positive and incredibly inspiring for us as people that consume the game that they make, it's another way of them showcasing that how much pride they have in their product and how much they are grateful to have us as people that are playing their games. It's very, very cool. And it starts so contemplative. God, it's so good. Wait, 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 we need to talk about the lyrics. Faith takes me anywhere I go. Faith strong will get me along. Will. Flame seems to burn forevermore. Flare, it's the cinders burning on. The darkest starless sky begging for the light to shine. A vast and great space of emptiness. Confusion and fear, unfriendly shadows lurking in the dark. Souls burning on takes me anywhere. We have to just move on, go. We will just have to go. I mean, it's like powerful lyrics when you really listen. 
And then the drumming in here is phenomenal. They took that comma seriously. Love the booping in the background. Again, all these melodies in Armor Core are weirdly positive and optimistic. It's so cool. I love that that's the dev team, you know? It's like a gift to us as players. It's so beautiful, giving back to us. It's just like Near Automata's final song, Weight of the World, you know? It's so positive, even though it's somber. response in there too. I love that we ended an organic quality too with the guitar. It's such a beautiful song, and this entire Disc 3 soundtrack is so marvelously good. I hope you enjoyed listening to this with me. I had such a great time sharing this with you. This is why Armored Core 6 is back. Armored Core is back. It's a return to form. Disc 3 especially is phenomenal, and I hope you enjoyed this, and go listen to more of it. I'll talk to you later.